You'd think I'd have had enough of walking for one day. But I'm just hyped, mate. Hyped to be out here. Yes, yes. Come on! Yes, people, hope you're all good. As I'm sure you've seen by the title, today's episode is a big one. The mighty Helvellyn. I'm gonna do a summit camp on the top of there. It's the third highest mountain in England, so it's certainly a big boy. I wasn't actually sure which side of Helvellyn to ascend from. So you've got the Thirlmere side, or you've got the other side which is more towards, is it Glenridden and Patterdale. Now I went with the Thirlmere side, strictly because it's a quicker distance up to the summit, which doesn't benefit me today, but it will benefit me tomorrow. Now you'll have already seen on a previous video that I've done the striding edge up to Helvellyn, the point of view video, and that was recorded today. Obviously this is the camping video to go with that ascent. So I'm gonna go up to the summit first, check it all out, then go down Swivel Edge, back up striding edge, back onto Helvellyn, and look for somewhere to do a wild camp. The reason why I've chosen to do it this way is tomorrow the weather it's supposed to be awful. High gusts, raining, pure fog and clag. So I just thought it makes sense to be already at the summit tomorrow morning after my camp and then just head down. We're gonna say this simple path. It's a knackering path. But it saves me having to do swivel edge tomorrow morning. because I got that out of the way today. If that makes sense, I hope it does. Well, it looks all sunny and nice down here. There's a few wind gusts coming in, nothing too major, but someone's just passed me and said, very different conditions up on top. And don't know if you can see in distance. Yeah, it looks all clagged in up there, but it is supposed to clear. I keep saying this every week, it feels like. So you can never rely on forecasts, but from four o'clock onwards, it's supposed to be clear all night until like 6 a.m. It's supposed to turn bad again. Well, bad, no such thing as bad weather. Only bad clothing, they say. Or bad equipment, whichever one it is. Well, I'm out in my shorts again. I've not brought no pants. You didn't see shorts then, did you? Out in shorts again. Not brought any pants. I have got my leggings though for when it gets chilly later on. <sighs> Loving that breeze. This path, wow. Never ending. Well, it feels that way. Had to draw for waterproof top because it's just starting to spit a little bit. And the further I look up, the grimmer the weather's looking. So at least I'm protected now. Just walk nice and slowly because I don't want to sweat too much. Now I've got this waterproof on. I say it like walking slowly is a choice. I'm walking slowly because I'm knackered. See, it depends which order these come out, but I've been in Lake District for four days. So yesterday I did an 18 miler and then I've already done a couple mile this morning to get back to the car before starting this one. I've got a feeling this video is gonna be out first though. So I won't give away what I did yesterday, just in case. 
got a good view of Firl near there. I wish I knew the name of all these mountains in the distance. I've got a feeling that one there, I don't know where I'm pointing to on camera, is Blencafra. It's got a distinctive sharp ridge there, well sharp edge they call it. So that looks like Blencafra to me. Well, so here we are. Not quite at the summit of Helvellyn, that's over there. We're just at the top of Swirl Edge. So I'm gonna make my way down there. Might go up to Catsty Cam. I'll see. Then I'm gonna follow it round and go along Striding Edge, which is currently covered in fog. But I'm hoping by the time I get there, it's gonna clear up a bit. That's the first little section of Swirl Edge done. Just drop down. I'm not sure where the path is, you just gotta sort of navigate it yourself. There were two people that were following, but can't see them now because of fog. But just take it steady, you'll be all right. Oh, swing you around now, Striding Edge is just opening up. You can see it there. So that's the summit of Helvellyn up there. Red tarn at bottom, Striding Edge there. Sick, finally here. It's nice because you can't see it and then all of a sudden the wind just blows that clag out of the way. There you go, look. Good fun. That's what we've just come down. Might be able to see the people near the top. Nice. There you go, check that. See the people. Yeah. Oh shit. Right then, down from Swirl Edge now. I'd say not difficult at all really. The only difficult thing is if you're afraid of heights, obviously you're gonna struggle because of the drops at the either side. But as far as technical ability, yeah, it's pretty hands-on in places, which is why I wasn't doing too much filming. But it's not very technical. Well, I don't know, I'm not experienced myself, really. Let's be honest, I've never done a grade one scramble. And that beast over there will be my first. From my knowledge, anyway, and my experience, it wasn't too difficult. What I am liking, is the views are starting to open up. Uh, well, as the forecast stated, it would. So, next step, up this beast, catch the cam, bag another way right while I'm here, why not? I've still not technically got to the summit of Helvellyn yet, but go up here, come back down, follow the path round, all the way around Red Tarn, until the start of Striding Edge. <laughs> it's funny because you've already seen it. If you're a regular tip channel, you'll have already seen me do this. I plan to do a POV, just one clip, recording as much of it as I can, depending on battery and storage space on my GoPro. Obviously I need to save some for tonight's camp. But yeah, it should be good fun. Actually excited now. Now I've seen it in real life. The amount of times I've seen videos and pictures of the striding edge, Elvelin. And today's finally gonna be the day. Buzzing. Oh, what a leg burner. Oh shit. Sorry. I thought I was gonna be a bit more stable than that. Leaned on it. Right, I'm at the summit of Catstikam, first way right of the day, standing at 2,920 feet tall. Decent, decent views there. Eh? Getting all the views. Just been swallowed by this cloud. I'm gonna have a break for a bit up here, I think. And then, the big one. 
There we are, look. Still at Catsty Cam. Doesn't take long for cloud to clear. Epic views, mate. Look at that. Jets are out. I can hear them. Right then, I filled my water up just from these streams running off of Red Tartan. And now I'm just gonna work my way up. Looks like a bit of a trek this actually. Just to get to the top of where Striding Edge begins. But yeah, buzzing for this. I have felt a few droplets of rain. So rain, fog, wind, not exactly perfect conditions for my first grade one scramble. But I take it steady. To be honest, I'm hoping there's gonna be someone in front of me. So I can sort of, from a distance, see sort of which way they go. Obviously I'll make my own decision because they might not be experienced. But, yeah, we'll see. Right then, so if you're a regular to the channel, you'll have already seen this next section, Striding Edge up to Helvellyn, POV. If you've not seen it, I'll link it at the end of the video and I'll put it in the description as well. So make sure you check that out after this one. Nearly fell over. I haven't even got there yet. So, for this video, I'll see you at the top of Helvellyn. Here we are, the summit of Helvellyn. How tall is it? I think it's a 3000 er Check this out for a 3 k -er. Standing at a whopping 3,117 feet. What a beast. And there's no one here. Expecting it to be pretty busy. It's half four. I'm gonna go look somewhere to pitch. Because weather's coming in. Don't wanna get caught in rain really. I can already see little splashes appearing on the screen. So let's check this place out. There's a few people at Windbreck around here. I might go see that later on once I've pitched my tent. Because they aren't camping too far away from the summit. But wow, striding edge man, what a beast. Swirl edge as well, descending that. A little bit tricky in places, not gonna lie. But it's so much fun. So make sure if you're confident enough, get out and try it. Well, you can't really try it, just get out and do it. If you don't feel comfortable, don't. Well, I'd say here's a good spot as any. Just down from the wind deck up there. Or the shelter, wherever you want to call it. Summit, Hilleberg Solo, blending in well actually. I'll tell you something, it's a bit nippy now, so I'm just going to get all my gear in tent, get some warm gear on, get a brew on, a well deserved brew. I'm going to crack open a can of fizzy pop as well. What a treat, eh? Don't want to be losing my peg bag. 
So no more than 30 mile an hour gusts forecast until early hours of morning. So no complaints there, nothing that this tent can't handle anyway. The wind is coming, it seems to be coming from that, that direction, if that makes sense, towards the summit, sort of. It's hard to tell, it keeps changing. So I feel like if we were pitched at that side of the summit, you'd feel the wind a lot more. But either way, I've got the foot end, the foot and the head end. So it's aerodynamically facing the wind. I don't know if that's the foot or the head. God knows. I think that's the foot end, the narrower end. But either way, 30 mile per hour, we're all good. All right, let's get in that tent. So if you're new to the channel, this is my Hilleberg Solo Black Label. So a slightly stronger fabric and 10.25 millimeter DAC poles. A proper beast, a real summit warrior. Perfect for summit camps, perfect for winter. I just thought the only other tent that I've brought with me on this trip is the Lanshan. And with them 30 miles per hour winds due, I know it's not a lot, but I know it's the best tent of all time, the Lanshan too, but I didn't fancy it up on summit, it wins. Yes, this is what it's all about, man. Striding edge, Hellvel and summit camps. The weather looks like it's gonna be grim, but some geezer just told me that I'm gonna get some lovely weather that way. Like that'll be at sunset and it's supposed to clear up for seven o'clock so we might have a sunset after all this doom and gloom weather we've had all day it's now quarter past five so plenty of time to chill out now yes this is what it's all about man let's get this gear in this tent Yeah, when you've been chilling in Lanchan too for the past few months, you soon realise what a one-man tent is. This is a one-man tent. But the thing is, I always open it all up. Then, you can open this side up as well. So then once you close the fly sheet on a night, you've got a vestibule nearly the size of bloody main bit if you know what I mean so it feels big you don't have to close it all down especially when it's not snowing or all so it feels quite big inside for a one man tent I'd say and it's very long as well you can always shove gear at the foot end or your head end whichever way you prefer and store gear in there as well but yeah we might get a spot of rain though before this good weather turns up clouds are looking grim that's why i put tent up straight away i know it's still not busy but i've seen odd person walk past as i were doing time lapse on tent <laughs> but they just said have a good night they love it <sighs> buzzing right i'm gonna get in take my shoes off for a bit come in if you want you don't have to wait out here. Go on. Look at that, look how long this tent is. Oh, take my shoes off now. And socks. In fact, you know what? I'm going to close fly sheet for a little bit just while I get changed, isn't that? Is that covering the camera, that? It is, isn't it? Wind muff. Yeah, I'm just going to. Shut the fly sheet while I get changed. Happy days. Right, bring you back. Right, all in my tent now. It's nice to get warm gear on, man. Just chill out. Not sure what to have to eat. So we've got this kitty night tonight, mate. Big super noodles. Kitty. Well, it's noodle night, innit? It's cuddy noodle night. 
or pot noodle fusion katsu curry flavour. Blow me mat up. Neo Air X Lite by Firma Rest. I can feel warm from this side of the tent. I've got a feeling that sun's going to be out. So I think I might have a Mecca Brew or have my can of pop. I've got a can of Pepsi Max somewhere. It might be Fanta. I don't know what it is. I've got a can somewhere in that bag. So I'll have that and then we'll go see what's going on outside. So the trainers that I've been using, you'll have seen them. I've had them all year. I've got them in April or something. I've not used them for a while because I've been using my Columbia's past few months. I just thought I'd wear them for this trip. It's the Nike Trail Zegama or Zigama Zoom X. Funky colours and that, but the grip on these is spot on. Engineered to the exact specifications of trail runners. You heard it there. Decent nice shoe. Yeah, the sun is out. I'm buzzing, man. Apart from that wind, it's relatively warm. Look at the views, man. Views for days now. Just think about how many people came up earlier and it was just pure clag. You couldn't see anything. And now it's half six at night or whatever. Perfectly clear. And I've got it to miss in. That's what it's all about. That's what camping does while camping. It helps you get to these sort of places for a lot longer, especially once the day trippers go on. Making my katsu curry. You'd think I'd have had enough of walking for one day. But I'm just hyped, mate. Hyped to be out here. Bye. Well, it's the best time of the day. Look what we have going on over here. Let's get up here and have a look. It's nippy, mind you. Colours are stunning now.
That is absolutely stunning. The camera will not do that justice. I will give you 10% of what I can see. You need to get your scent out here if you're able to. Fairly windy, mind you. Yes, yes. Come on! Sunset, hell villain. Got it to myself as well. All the clag has been worth it. A bit of me is that morning guys you're just seeing drone footage i'm guessing oh fingers freezing absolutely freezing this morning it was like winter i swear there was some frost it's bloody september last week were heat waves i don't know what's going on but yeah look at that absolutely beautiful what a morning clear skies Epic sunrise just popping up, glowing red tan down here. Oh, it's amazing. That's my tent there, that one.
Right guys, all packed away. Leave no trace, as always. This has been Hellvelen. One of my favorite camps so far. I will definitely, definitely be back to this location. Some epic views. And I think I'm gonna wrap this video up here. So if you liked the video, press a like. If you've camped on Hellvelen before, let me know in the comments. Hey, up. That last peg. Anyway, drop a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. In a bitch.